Hello, I'm Nasu Kremdiotis and I will show how to upload uh, my SQL uh, database to 000 web host uh, service. Well, um, uh, 000 web host service uh, supports uh, only uh, my SQL uh, databases. Uh, so uh, this is uh, what we will have to do. Uh, I have already created uh, a database. Uh, this is um, the GNLDB database. It has only one table. This table one, which contains uh, these uh, five uh, columns, ID, name, description, price, and an image name. Uh, I have uh, already put some data to this uh, table so it is uh, ready to uh, upload it uh, to the server. So the first uh, thing we have to do is, uh, is to export the data. So let's try to export here. Um, I will create, uh, I have already cre created uh, this uh, backup uh, SQL file but uh, if you don't have it, uh, just uh, name a SQL file here and it will be created. Here it tells me that uh, I'm going to replace uh, the already existed one but it's not a problem. I click yes. Now here I have uh, the full path of uh, my SQL file and uh, I select uh, GNLDB and start export. So the exported file is already here. This is the exported file. I have to download I have to upload it to 000 web host service, but before I do that, I have to change something here. Uh, I open it with a notepad, and uh, as you see here, in uh, SQL file, uh, there is um, there are some commands that uh, tell uh, the server uh, to use, uh, to, to create a database if not exist. Uh, this uh, is not an option in a 000 web host uh, service. The, we cannot uh, create a database when uploaded uh, to uh, PHP admin. So I have to comment out this line. And this one. And save it. This is the tricky part for uploading uh, this database uh, to 000 web host. Now I'm going to, to 000 web host, uh, login to member area, click submit, and go to cPanel. In cPanel, I have already in my my SQL database. I have already created a database. Uh, this is uh, the name of the database. This is the user and uh, the host. If you don't, uh, if you haven't uh, created a database, uh, you can do it uh, easily here. Select a name for the database, select a username, and a password and click create
create a database and the database will be already created. So the first thing to do is to create the database and then you have uh, and then you uh, have the order do uh, you have the license uh, to upload your local database. So I have already done this part. I'm going back and uh, I'm going to PHP my admin. Well here we see the already created uh, database so I enter PHP my admin okay and I'm going to the import tag I select the file this is the file the backup I have already created and press go this is it here it says that the uh, import has been successfully finished and uh, when I'm going to SQL and uh, execute here a query click go we see here all the data as we have it here locally. Mm -hmm. All the data here has been uploaded. On this server. Thank you for watching.